Hello everyone, welcome back to Tutor LMS Academy and we're back with another tutorial. This video will guide you on how to integrate PayPal as a payment gateway with the Tutor LMS native e-commerce. So let's get started. So first we need to go to Tutor LMS, go to settings, into monetization, and we have to make sure that from the e-commerce engine, we have selected the Tutor native e-commerce engine. Then we'll go to the payment methods tab. And from here we can enable this toggle to enable PayPal as a payment method. But before we can do that, we need to fill up these text boxes with the correct client IDs and secret IDs and so on. So let's let's find out how we can do that, right? So first of all, we need to enter our merchant email address here. So this email has to be the one that is associated with your PayPal account. Otherwise, you will not get updates about your payments. So after you put down the email from this environment drop down, we'll see two options. They're going to be test and live. Test will be for sandbox transactions while you're testing out the payment gateway and how it works and live would be used for real payments. Once again, make sure that the email you input here is correct as this is where your payment notifications will be sent. For the next step, we need to get our client ID, secret IDs and all that. So to obtain these credentials, you'll need a PayPal merchant account. If you don't have one, you can register for free right away. Don't worry about it. So let's head over to PayPal's developer dashboard. So once you're logged into your PayPal developer dashboard, you can toggle between sandbox and live depending on your setup. So let's start with sandbox. So unless you upgrade your PayPal account to a merchant account, you can only use the sandbox mode. You will not be able to use that as live. So make sure you do that before you start to use PayPal for your live site. But the process is the same. So don't worry about it. So from the developer dashboard, we'll go up to the nav bar here and we'll click on apps and credentials. From this page, we'll click on create app and then we'll fill in the app details like the app name, the app type, which we're going to select as merchant, and then the sandbox account. So let's give our app a name. We'll call this Tutor LMS, and it's very easy setup. Just click on create app and your app is going to be created. So very easy. Once you create your app, you'll find your client ID and client secret ID right here. So all you need to do is copy them and paste them back into Tutor LMS. So the same thing for the client secret ID, go back to Tutor LMS and just paste it right away. Okay, so now let's set up the web hooks to receive our payment notifications. So from this app screen, we'll need to scroll down to web hook. So to add the web hook, you'll need a web hook URL. And this we can find in Tutor LMS right here. From the setup screen, we'll find a web hook URL. We're gonna go ahead and copy this, go back to PayPal, paste it. And then there are a lot of event types here. So you can select the relevant event types that you want, but at the very least we suggest ticking the checkout order approved and the payment capture completed. If you want to be on the safer side, you can select the entire payments and payouts event and also all of the checkout events. This will ensure that any type of event happening or any of the payment that are made in your e-learning site, you get an email notification right away. Once you hit save, your webhook will be added and you'll need to select your webhook ID, which is going to be right here. So copy the webhook ID and then we'll go back to Tutor LMS and paste the webhook ID right here. So after you've added all these fields you can now enable the paypal payment method and one last final step is to hit save changes in tutor lms and now paypal is fully integrated and will appear on your checkout page for your learners to use paypal to pay for your courses and that's it everyone integrating paypal with tutor lms is a very simple and seamless process so now when a learner goes to a checkout page they'll see paypal as a payment gateway and they'll be able to use it to purchase their courses we hope this tutorial helped you all out. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.